Okay, so we're gonna go into the. Uh, we're gonna check out this okay, hardware, right? Okay, so we're gonna go. Uh, with, um, I'm gonna go on about how to uh, how to set up your your Sky RC IMAX B6AC uh, charger. Okay, it has a built-in AC adapter, like I mentioned. There's the power cord for it, so we're gonna connect that into here. All right, there's a little port for the power supply right here and uh, alternatively you could hook like an external power supply a, a DC power supply into this if it in, it inputs 11 to 18 volts okay but uh, we're just going to use the AC the built-in AC adapter okay and this charger comes with a bunch of uh, uh, accessories so you can connect it to different batteries I'm gonna plug it into the outlet right now Okay, um, so the way I got it set up is I have these extension cords here for the balance cords, but um, I, we're not going to use it because you can only, it'll only balance up to six cells and we have eight cells, so too bad Merlin. <laughs> if we had a, if we had a 4S setup, then we could probably do it. Okay, here there's two banana plugs on the output right here. This is the negative and the positive. Make sure you don't, you don't mix the the um, the wires up because you can because they're banana plugs. Okay, that's what comes with the charger. And then I and then there's the way this the adapters work on this is there's a Dean's plug here, okay? And and you can change the, the connectors with the Dean's plug. So you can use like XT60 or I don't do I have XT60? That's a good question. Um, or a EC5 or EC EC3, I think, or, or you can just connect it straight with, to, with the Anderson, or not the Anderson, the Dean's connectors, okay? But right now, I've got the alligator clips on it, okay? So that's the one that we're going to be using, the alligator clips. Okay, here it says life charge, okay? That's the what you that's the set of, setting you want. I'm going to show you how to set that up, okay? So it says program select life battery, right? So you can go to through different modes here and stuff, okay? There's a lot of different stuff. We're going to go... Okay, so Hades Mega here is going to show you how to set up your IMAX B6 AC um, lithium or your battery charger uh, to, set, to charge a, a lithium iron phosphate. Okay, so right now it's set up, but I'm just going to show you the general setting. If you don't have, if it doesn't say life here, then, uh, then you need to make it say life. Okay, so to do that, you're going to go to user set program, okay? hit start and then you want this to say life okay you can change it to something else right there's lithium polymer lithium ion and life okay you want it to say life and then press start okay so that's going to charge it. Uh, it that's set for like a 3.3 volt it's more like it's 3.2 volts actually a 3.3 volt battery okay because that's uh, li the lithium ion is like 3.2 or so. I think it's 3.2. Okay, but the target voltage that we're we're trying to charge to is 3.65, I think. And this will just kind of this will charge it to 3.6. I think that's close. Okay, so if you look in the manual, this is the B6AC manual. Okay, yeah. See, it says life here, voltage level 3.3 volts per cell. All right, and then the max charge voltage is 3.6. So that should be fine. That shouldn't overcharge our battery or anything. That's where you want to. Uh, technically you want 3.65 but th this is what we got to roll with <laughs> okay okay and then you're gonna want to exit all right and then you're gonna want to scroll and set it to life bat okay life bat okay and then you want it to say life charge okay um, there's other there's other modes like balance and fast charge and storage you just want charge okay and then you want to set it for five amps because we it's gonna take freaking forever, and that's the maximum charge rate this charger can do for a 1S. Okay, set it for five amps, and then set it for 1S. Okay, see there's 2S, 3S, 4S. 1S is what you want. Okay, and then uh, there's even an auto mode, but make sure it's 1S or 3.3 volts. Okay. Okay, and then that should do it. Um, Let's go charge. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. And go charge. Um, so what I like to do is I like to keep a heat sink on top of the charger here, just to keep it cool. All right, so I just kind of just leave that right there. All right, 
and then here's the charge connectors so we're going to hit the hook the positive okay or just anything to the negative right here okay all right and then uh got that so just make sure the red is on the one of the positives and the black is on one of the negatives okay and then we're just going to hit start we're going to hold start down battery check so it says uh basically what this means is you set you set it for one s and it's it sees one s okay this is like it's a safety thing okay if you put three s and then it detects a one s then it, it, it might blow up the battery because it's you know or or whatever you know it won't it won't charge the battery right because it's the wrong setting okay so hold it down okay and then hit start and it's going to start charging okay and then that shows you how much it's probably this probably won't take that long it's at 3.59 already it's charging so that's how much voltage it's pumping into the battery right now okay and then uh and then this is there's a timer here i'm not sure what that is that might be how many um how much um watts it's pumping into the battery or amp hours this is a uh, so this is lithium 1s 5 amp okay and then you could also check the voltage um if 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 you had more than one in series okay if you had a balance connector connected to it you could check the individual voltages but you can't okay because we only have one battery so so yeah how come it doesn't check the voltage i guess that's the voltage right there that's how much that's how much it's putting in all right so let's go connect our uh, multimeter and check it out okay what you don't want to do is i don't think you want to go past like 3.7 or something so we're going to go check the voltage here and then now we're it's at 3.26 3.27 okay so it's like kind of moving around a little bit okay so every once in a while you're going to want to check that out all right but i'm just going to leave it here charging i think it's going to take a long long time to charge okay right now it's at 3.3.59 volts okay so it's actually almost fully charged <laughs> so i think that's how they ship it to you almost fully charged i think they probably charge it to like 80 percent capacity and then and then yeah so they probably got some kind of fancy charger that can do that okay but uh when this gets to about 3.6 something it'll it'll stop so so i'll come back when it turns off i'm going to be cleaning up my garage uh and then hopefully if it if it turns off soon then we'll know it's fully charged okay but right now it is charging it as one big one big battery pack okay one big 3.2 volt battery pack all right so uh so yeah when i'm gonna come back and check it every once in a while but i'll be in the garage cleaning up so um that's what i'm gonna do all right here's my go but yeah what you want to do it, what you probably want to do is just keep your eye on it every once in a while um i don't know how long this is going to take hopefully it doesn't take that long it, the battery is pretty much fully charged already okay they look like they're already balanced and everything but we're gonna double check we're gonna charge it to 100 percent or like as high as we can okay the battery has to be at a high state of charge to be able to tell like what you know what at what capacity levels they are you want to make sure that every all the battery's capacities are the same okay but also by having it in parallel like this it's out also already self-balancing itself okay so you just want to keep it like that for a long time. I don't think I'm going to get this battery bank up and running probably till the end of the week anyway. So I can just leave it like this all week. But uh, also make sure, yeah, you probably won't want to put something on top of the battery or put a note on the battery if you've got people around, you know, your house. Tell them, hey, stay away from the battery. Don't, <laughs> don't touch it. <laughs> okay? Because if you were to drop like a, a screwdriver or something and then short the terminals out, you know, it could be very bad. Okay? Okay, yeah, so I'm just going to let it do its thing. I'm going to let it charge to about 3.6, 3.65, and then we'll go check the voltages again, okay, to make sure they're good. So I'll check it one more time. Okay, I'm getting a 3.27. 
Okay, so three three point two seven. We we got to get to we got to get to uh, three point three point six, right? It's gonna take a long, long time, dude. It's pumping in three point three point five nine volts right now. So yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's figure out. I'll keep an eye on it.